That was with you yesterday, Beth. I Dutch. Hi, Dutch. Hi, Dutch. Yeah, Beth, you're really talkative. What about like? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Dude, so then it looks like they're coming at you at 170 kilometers per hour. You combine those two. Yeah. Yep. Because the rate at which you're closing the gap is me plus you. Yeah. That's all we're talking about here. So think of uh, in sports frame of reference, um, I don't care how fast I'm going. I just have to be going faster than they're going. Or I'm going to throw something to you, but you're going that way. I got to understand that I can't throw it right where you're at now. I have to throw it to where you're going to be. Or a soccer pass. You know, pass to my feet. I did. Yeah, but where my feet are going to be, not where my feet are right now because I'm running. Frame of reference. So you wrap your brain around where am I, which way am I moving, and how is everything else moving around me so that I can operate in a like kind of normal way. Basketball has got stuff going on all over the place, and the space that you have to work in is not big, right? You've got little passes, you've got pass and goes, you've got all these things to think about even when you just do a layup. That's your frame of reference is how fast am I going in respect to other things that are moving? <laughs> All right. Now, they've got the picture of uh, the airplane. And uh, so we've had bombing runs. We've talked about dropping food for missionaries, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, World War II, the bomber guy, he'd have this little tube that he looked down. And then they'd have their little, uh, their trick stuff. They knew what the altitude was and their speed. And then they could measure, uh, when do I need to drop the bombs so that they'll land on the thing that I want them to, to hit? Like a train up ahead or a city or a dam or something like that. Right, but you got to put that peep sight at the right place. So you got to fly at the right, right height and the right speed. And then the pilot is got the job of don't move. Uh, they're shooting at us. Yeah, we got to do this bombing run, so don't move. Okay, that guy then, he's going to watch. After they release the bombs, he watches straight down. They come out of the out of the bin there, and they fall straight down, and he can watch them the whole time until they hit the ground. To him, all it looks like is that bomb's like this, and it's like shrinking, right? It's just getting smaller and smaller, so they're looking down the tube, and then it blows up. That's the motion, the relative motion to the bomber is this. Boom. But if you're watching, you see this bomb coming in like this. And it's following this parabola. So they've got both, they've got like from the airplane's point of view, it just looks like their circle thing is getting smaller. But it's, that's all, it looks like it's shrinking because it's falling straight down. But to the side, you see this parabola shape going by. That's where we are, is on the side. Yeah. Oh, this one says a stunt dummy dropped from a plane. Yeah, when viewed from the plane, a stunt dummy falls straight down. Because, that's not nice. When viewed from a stationary position on the ground, the stunt double follows. It looks like a parabola. We have that picture in our book. Sweet. I'm doing so this for Dutch. Did it happen on videotape? No, because the video stuff's all broken on these. Because they, like, don't support Flash Player anymore. What's wrong with Flash? So lame. I want to see. See, if I try, it'll be like this not supported. Oh, see, won't even let me click on it. Oh, I was talking about Oh. <laughs> you can do that anytime. Part two, relative velocity. Now here's where we do a little bit of calculating because the thing said we're going to solve problems involving relative velocity. The case of the faster car overtaking your car was easy to solve with a minimum of thought and effort. But you'll encounter many situations in which a more systematic method of solving such problems is beneficial. To develop this method, write down all the information that is given and that you want to know in the form of velocities with subscripts appended. That is, they have V of SE, the slower one. Here the subscript X, SE means the velocity of the slower car with respect to Earth. It's probably too many letters. And the other one, a plus 90 on VFE, the faster one with respect to Earth. So you can imagine 
compared to bet that I'm not, our like velocities toward each other are zero, right? But if we were in space, we might see the Earth rotating. Bethan's on the Earth. She's actually moving pretty fast. All right, if I'm at a stationary point somewhere up in space and the Earth is rotating underneath me, she looks like she's going about 17,000 miles an hour. No, no, it's not that much. It's not that much. She looks like she's going 24th in circumference, like 1,000 miles per hour. Yeah, she looks like she's going 1,000 miles per hour. Uh, if we're closer to the sun, um, the Earth is going in one big ellipse around the sun once every year. And uh, so that's pretty fast because that's a big, long path for the Earth to get through in 365 days. Relative to the sun, the Earth is moving super fast. And Bethan's on the Earth spinning. So her speed relative to the sun is going a little bit faster, a little bit slower, a little bit faster, a little bit slower. But it's, it's moving through this, this elliptical path. Now, let's move to like another star looking at our star and the planets going around our star. You got like multiple kinds of motion going on, spinning, circle, around, you know, maybe this is the center of our, our solar system. Or no, it's not our solar system, of our galaxy. You got the Milky Way. Sun is one star in the Milky Way. It's spinning around the center of this, uh, the Milky Way as we are spinning around the uh, sun. That's a lot of spinning. Oh, or you could just say, you're stationary because you're in this class and I only care about where you all are in respect to me because we have to keep our social distance and stuff. That's relative velocity. Um, dog fights. People are like, you know, top gun and they're flying and stuff and they're flying this way. You only care about where they are in respect to you. I'm going on faster. I'm not going as fast enough. What's my angle toward them so I can shoot them? All that kind of stuff. Um, that's all that matters. So you can take away a lot of the busyness that's going on and break it down to just how am I going to talk about that object and this object as they're both moving? Are they moving toward each other, away from each other? How much distance is that increasing, decreasing as they're moving in whatever direction they're moving? So we got to gather some information and then figure out what we're going to do with it. They say they're both going in the positive direction. One's going 80, the other one's going 90. Which one wins? The one with the faster velocity. So the one in the slower car, how fast does it look like the other guy's going? 10. 10 kilometers per hour north. So you're constantly doing this as you're driving, especially on the freeway, especially if you're driving down to like Southern California or driving a long distance. You're using your mirrors and you keep looking at them and you're like, are they getting closer to me? Do I need to move over? You're just looking at relative velocities at that point. And, you know, sometimes you're driving and somebody decides they're going to hightail it past you. And they're like, boom. You're like, oh, my goodness. But going past you, they may be going 20 miles per hour faster than you. And it feels like a lot. But if you're staying on the side of the road, it would feel like a lot more. You guys are trying to run down everything? Yeah. Don't, don't do it. Uh, last bullet to say, write an equation in terms of the other velocities. The subscript starts with F and ends with S, like finish and s No, I don't know what those are standing for. The other subscripts start with the low, fast and slow. Start with the letter, letters that end the preceding velocity. So they got velocity of the fast one equals the velocity of the fast one plus the velocity of I don't know what all this oh, means. Oh, V E S equals negative V S T. Oh, okay. Like the, it seems like the Earth is rushing past you underneath like a treadmill. Yeah, you're like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just right here. The Earth is going underneath me. But it's all you're driving down the road. If you got out of the car, then you would figure out. Yeah, that actually the Earth wins. <laughs> Um, okay, so one of my first video games, we got 
at the at the flea market we bought a Coleco Vision. Coleco Vision. And it had an Atari attachment that went onto it. My parents put out the big money for that for Christmas. That was like all we got that Christmas as a family was ColecoVision with like two games. One of the games was Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers was super exciting because like I'm in the 24th century and I'm like flying over this 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 uh, planet. I'm and it's almost like you know in uh, Star Wars where Luke has to go down in that that canyon on the Death Star and flying the shooting at him and all that kind of stuff. It was like that. So the whole screen is just like this and they've got this like square thing and it the lines are just kind of going like this. So I feel like I'm flying through this tunnel or whatever and you zigzag and for, back and forth and shoot things so they don't hit you. That's it. It's pretty much the whole game. This way, that way, shoot stuff. Go, you're allowed to go up, down, left, and right inside this little thing. It's just doing this. The lines are going like this. They have little markers, then they're going. So I feel like I'm going somewhere. That's that's frame of reference and relative velocity. I looks like I'm staying put, and the earth is just flying past me. This is why dogs let them stick their heads up. Smell the smells. Wonderful. Blah, blah, blah. 10 kilometers per hour north. That's what it all boils down to. Holy schmoly. They made that way more complicated than it needs to be. Here we go. Moving on. Oh, it's another video that we can't see. Yeah, right. And they'll show another one. And they'll be like, who's going to die first? And how long is it going to take me to stop? And don't swerve when I do. No, I didn't. I did drive the direct. I'm waiting. I hear it the rest of the video. Okay. Okay. No, but she probably did. No, of course not. No, she doesn't have anything else. Um, look at the bottom of page 103. These are a couple of real world things. I've, I've uh, in the past, for physics classes, I've made up a list of experiments we always wanted to try in elevators and then uh, took that list of things to the hotel when we went down to Masters. Yeah, I don't know. So number one, elevator acceleration. Boy bouncing the rubber ball in an elevator that's going down. If the boy drops the ball as the elevator is slowing down, he's like... Is the magnitude of the ball's acceleration relative to the elevator less than or greater than um, what it is relative to the ground? Elevator problems are really interesting. In fact, um, Einstein cooked up a bunch of like thought experiments that had to do with elevators. His elevators were always in space, though. To him, what's the difference? Hi. What's the difference between uh, me accelerating in an elevator or what it feels like to stand on, on the earth and gravity pulling me down? Could I accelerate in space? Could I accelerate in a space elevator fast enough to feel the same as if I was standing on earth? Like artificial gravity. I'm sure you probably could. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah, and in this way. In movies, they've they've done they've you know made fake spaceships that have artificial gravity, and they always have a component of the spaceship that's just spinning out on spokes, right? And it makes you feel like you're being pushed out because you're spinning, and the thing pushes you down. Um, I show you the beginning of 2001: A Space Odyssey, right, with the yeah, monkeys with the and the bones and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So when it switches to the spaceship, it has a big old piece that's rotating. And it was it was really cool stuff for 1970, whatever, when they made this movie, because they had a whole scene where there's one guy sitting at like a desk, and next to him is this runway, and there's a dude, and he's exercising, he's running. And it looks like he's running up the wall, along the ceiling, and then coming back around. 
Now he wasn't actually running up the wall, across the ceiling and back around. Yeah, I know. How do they do that? Well, they made the prop into like a big hamster wheel, like a life-size, person-sized hamster wheel. So he's just running, and the whole building, the whole, you know, part of this thing is rotating, and he's just kind of staying in one place, like at the bottom of the hamster wheel. Have you seen the one where And all of a sudden, they... He's, like, dancing across. Yeah, and, like, going up the wall, and then he's on the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like stuff like that. Yeah. Or the the original like TV show Batman. Every now and then there there'd be Batman and Robin climbing up a rope and they're they're climbing up a wall, and they're like this, right? But in reality, they're just in the studio going like this. I know yeah. we were talking about this is like the Marvel movies. Like, you probably sometimes feel really stupid like doing their things because they add all these like visual effects, like you know Wanda with the bam, like, or like Wanda with her like. Oh, yeah. It's like, you're seeing the bird, like, like a green screen all around you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like, oh, no, do that again with a little bit more on the wrist. Yeah. Okay, think of all the different space movies you've seen. Think of flying in the Millennium Falcon. They're flying out in the middle of space, but yet they're sitting in chairs. That doesn't make sense. What's pulling them down, right? There should be nothing pulling them down. They're in space. Yeah, their seatbelts. <laughs> then they'll get up and they'll go play like the, you know, the monster chess game. Or Star Trek, for that matter. Star Trek has is, is got all kinds of script writing in there that explains how they create gravity and how they can go to warp speed without killing everybody. Inertia stop. dampers, they stop. call it. Yeah, it'd stop all of a sudden. All the stars are going like this. And they're like, Err! Oh, it's like... What? You'd be like... Flat like in, in the front they, windows. Yeah, it's like in Star Wars when they jump to like speed or whatever. Like yeah. Hyper How does yeah hyperspeed? How do they have to be like and they're like and then like and they stop. miss everything for like yeah. parsecs. Yeah, they don't hit. Sorry. Yeah, that's the same kind of thing we're talking about. I, I love how they did that though in 2001 where technology was pretty low. They just had the camera on the prop, and then the guy was running like he's on a hamster wheel. And the visual is super cool. You're like, how is it? And there's no, there's no like CGI tricks or anything like that. They just had to build the thing so the guy could run in you know, the hamster wheel, and it looks like he's doing laps. But that was their artificial gravity section of the ship. If they don't have artificial gravity of some sort, like we're planning to go to Mars, when they get there, their their body's going to have wasted away. Because these guys, they go and spend six months up in space, and then they come back. They have to go through, like, rehab to learn how to walk again. Because their body, they have to exercise up there with these gravity things. They Basically, they strap themselves down, stretchy bands, as they exercise. So that it's constantly pulling them down so their muscles don't atrophy, don't waste away from living in zero gravity. Nothing to push against, right? When you walk up in awful. space, you're pretty much just like pushing against the walls and floating. Back to Earth, and you're just like sitting there and have people like help you out, and you, you know, said so you expect people to just come right back out, like waving, like hi, we're back. Yeah. It's like, uh, hey, so part of our trying to get to Mars, it takes six months to get there. It takes six months to get back. Is what are the effects on your body in that weightless environment? They have to create some moving parts in their spaceship so that they feel some gravity. They can do that? Yes. Yeah, they can. Yep. So just, like... just got to spin. You got to be far away from the axis of the ship. Yep. They have to, like, put the ship together in space, take you up there, and then launch you from some, like, you know, space pad. It gets you pointed in the right direction. But it's possible. It's just like a big Point ball. Point in the right direction. Okay. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Two and a yeah, or like a big wheel. That's attached by spokes to something that's spinning around your main axis. Yeah. And it'll feel like enough to, to keep your body in shape. So um, the gravity on Mars is only like 40% of what, it, of what it is on Earth. So you wouldn't have to have it at 1G. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have it at 0.4 Gs and you'd, you'd be fine. But so it's less... Um, is it worse? Or... Uh, the moon is only a sixth, so 
a Mars is bigger. Yeah, so, so there's more gravity on the Mars oh, than on the Moon. More gravity on the Moon. But isn't Mars bigger than Mars? Uh, no. It's, oh, no. It's it's la it's smaller. Oh, I thought it was bigger. No, it's not. Well, if the planet's bigger, the gravity is going to be more. And yeah, the right. planet's on that mass is bigger too. Yeah, yeah but true. um, but in general, it's the size that, that matters. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so all this elevator stuff. Uh, have you ever been to a place where there's a pretty fast elevator? What's and you can definitely feel, you're like, ooh, that's a good one. What? Okay. Yeah, where it's meant to go fast. And when when you first go, you feel, like, heavier, right? And then, uh, or that you do those, like, drop zone rides where people, all these people, are like, yeah, a penny or something. They hold it in their hand, and then it's, the, the, they release the brakes, and you go, and the penny's, like, floating out here. You feel weightless. And then they, they hit the brakes, and you're like, oh, oh boy. Oh. Or have you ever been on one of those, the cyclotron things, where you stand against the wall, and it spins, and you're like, yeah, those are weird. Oh. No, I've been on the elevator at the airport, though, in Sacramento. There's I probably like have. a glass yeah. elevator, and it goes fast. It's like, it's like you. It's so you. Yeah, you know what it reminded me of? Willy Wonka. Yeah, the new area. one or the old ones? The new one. I haven't seen the new one. I refuse to see it. Okay, so it's going to change how it feels, how much gravity you're experiencing. And Einstein was like, what's the difference between me standing on the Earth with gravity's pull or me accelerating through space? It'll still feel like I'm being pushed down onto the floor of the elevator. I could go fast enough in a space elevator to feel exactly the same as me standing on Earth so he said acceleration is no different than, than uh, gravity's pull down. Gravity's not a force. Gravity is an acceleration. That's how we've been using it anyway, right? We replace A with G. Yes, yes we have. Okay. Two, aircraft carrier. What aircraft carrier. This planes take off and land on an aircraft carrier. And there's arrows on there like you only land one way you don't you land the other way because you got to hit the brakes and they got guy wires to like catch you and slow you down and all that kind of stuff so if the ship's going this way which way do you take off this way why would you do that no i'm asking so if if okay so let's say you start here and you take off and usually they dip a little bit and then they you know because they need enough lift on their wings to stay in, in the air. That would be going fast enough to maintain lift. So what should be no, better? I think they take off in the back and come back. Okay, what would happen if the ship's going this way and they take off this way? You would be going oh! fast. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You want to take off that way It's a problem, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because then you're not going, you like have a hard time taking off. So you're going to land. You come in this way, right? It's moving that way. You're moving that way. And you slow down as much as you can because as soon as you your tires hit, then you've got to hit the brakes and they got those wires to stop you before you, you fall off this end into the ocean. You want to land. Well, you wouldn't fall off that way into the ocean. You want to land off. coming from behind. You want to take, take off. Back. You can do a touch and go then if you don't get the wires to stop. You can drop and go, oh, no, here we go. But it going this way. <laughs> <laughs> Taking off pew, into the ocean. Very important, right? Aircraft carriers got to go somewhere. They're going the whole time, and airplanes are taking off and landing on it constantly. So very important that you know which direction to approach the ship. If you're running out of gas, and you, it's coming this way, and you're going this way, you got to come and get around and come behind, and you might not make it. See, we... The original Top Gun, they were always like, I'm running out of fuel. Am I going to make it back or am I going to have to ditch it in the ocean? That's the question. And I don't remember. One one time they well, ditched it and somebody dies. <laughs> no, I didn't ruin it. It doesn't tell you anything about Russians and giving people the bird or anything. You just told us it was about Russians and giving people the bird. I didn't tell you if it was a real bird or if it was a bad bird. Well, obviously it was fake. <laughs> Obviously. I don't know. Okay, where's that study guide? Where did I put it? I don't know. Oh, here it is. I don't have one. Study guide for what? Physics. Physics. 
physics class. Yeah, no more Christmas. <laughs> You're drunk on Christmas. That would be me. Got page 18, a little mixed review here. Passenger at an airport steps onto one of those moving yeah, sidewalk yeah, things. 100 meter long moving sidewalk at the airport. And, and, and Bethan knows the first time I ever went a plane, I was 20, and I flew from Los Angeles to London. London Heathrow well, is gigantic. And to get from where you get off the plane to where you pick up your baggage to then go through customs, it's honestly, it feels like two miles. It's ridiculous. And so we're like, oh, moving sidewalk, let's go. And we got gigantic bags, right? I'm like, oh, we're American. We can't pack like that. You know? We're making noise and being annoying and stuff. And everybody's like, there's those Americans. Yes, moving sidewalk. 100 meters long. And the sidewalk is moving at 1.5 meters per second. Can't be going too fast or else people will, like hurt themselves getting on and getting off. 18, yeah. Um... The passenger then starts walking at a speed of one meter per second in the same direction as the sidewalk is moving. What's the passenger's velocity relative to the following observers? A, a person standing stationary along the moving sidewalk. So that person that's not using them in a smart way, they're just like, oh, this helps me stand still and still make progress. And you're like, over, move, over. You know Okay. Or when they hold the bag. No, yeah, when you get stuck behind them, you're saying like, and then like if it breaks off into another one, you like go in front of. <laughs> so you're on the sidewalk, walking at a meter per second, and the sidewalk is moving at 1.5 meters per second, and you're passing somebody that's standing there. How much faster are you going than they're going? 1.5. Faster, no. No, a person saying stationary. How fast are you going? I'm going one meter per second. Oh, one, on the one, one, sidewalk. one. Okay. Sorry, I, I. I so that's our first know. answer. Person is standing stationary, um, and you're moving. Let's imagine you're the passenger that's walking. Standing stationary on the moving sidewalk. Yeah. It's still one. Plus one meter per second. Yep, yeah, it's our relative velocity compared to them. Okay, compared to a person standing stationary. That's Wait. What I was just oh I'm yeah. Oh, okay. So a, they're like, they're look at that on. sidewalk, yeah. and look at those two people, and look at the faster person. Two and a half. Yep. There Wait, we go. Says, two and a half. What is the passenger's velocity relative to the following? So it's like the passenger on point. the walking, moving sidewalk who's another, walking, and then the following observer is also on the moving sidewalk. Yep. So, so to the no, but they're not walking on the walking sidewalk. They're just standing on the sidewalk. See, even the language doesn't make sense. It's a sidewalk. Don't stand on it. Okay, so, oh, so it's 2.5? Person standing stationary alongside to the moving sidewalk plus 2.5 meters per second. Yep, person standing stationary on the moving sidewalk plus... Plus 1.0 meters per second. Wait, now you're confusing me. What one are we on now? I just did A and then I did B. Well, you said 2.5 and I was talking about B. That was A. I'm going A, oh, now B. Oh, goodness. That was 0.5 meters per second. Oh, goodness. Where's yes. my freaking eraser? I don't know. Oh, no, There's no freaking erasers. Imagine. Freak! Here, would you like to borrow this one? No, I have yours? one. Yours is better. So it's 2.5 and then 1. Yes, plus positives. Yeah. Okay, Zach's, Zach's zipping on. Uh, 3C, a person walking alongside the sidewalk, but they're not on the sidewalk, with a speed of 2 meters per second, and in a direction opposite the motion of the sidewalk. So they're like, oh, that person's going that way on a moving sidewalk. That's interesting. And that person's walking away. <laughs> they run to the display. Speed of 3.5. Well, would it be, yeah, 2.5? Uh, what is the passenger's like? Relative to, so it's it's always, we're the person on the sidewalk. Okay, I'm on the sidewalk, I'm walking, walking on the moving sidewalk, I'm watching somebody move that way. 
it seems as if I'm relative to them going 4.5 that way compared to them. Like, I'm going this way, they're going that way. If I just imagine that they're stationary, I'm walking, I'm making 4.5 meters per second progress. Riding in a cart? Oh, this guy's like, ah, Oh, yeah, yeah, like, you know, he's handicapped or, oh. you know, they're pushing, they're pushing a dude that's like super, super big and all his luggage in a thing. Really going, slowly. Going than Person riding in a cart alongside the sidewalk with a speed of five meters per second. That's dangerous. And in the same direction in which the sidewalk is moving. That so you're walking. Dangerous. And then this dude in a cart over there. Oh, 2.5. Except it's me. I'm saying how much progress I'm making compared it's to them. Negative. negative I'm making negative progress. Negative 2.5 meters per yeah. second. Person riding in a cart with a speed of four and in a direction perpendicular. I can't see the direction in which the sidewalk is moving. So now, like, it's this is bad. what's going on. Where are they going? Yeah, what are they doing? Where's um, my moving sir, sidewalk? Sir, you're just going to walk into the glass if you go that way. And they're going that way. So they're going. Five. Yeah. In the direction that we're pointed, we're making still making two point five meters per second progress on Because that. from our perspective that guy's going zero. Otherwise we've gotta we've gotta do some calculus. We got two rates in different directions. We're not there. So yeah, we're just thinking about I going this way. Thinking, they're going that way. I was Who cares? Really hard about that now. Yeah, it's a related <laughs> rate thing. It's very complicated. Uh, use the information given item 3 to answer the following questions. How long does it take for the passenger walking on the sidewalk to get from one end of the sidewalk to the other end? It's 100 meters long. You're going 2.5 meters every second. Is? 40. 40. 40 seconds. Well, because 100, okay, well, 100 divided by 25 is 4, and then move the decimal place over here. Oh, wait. Distance equals rate right times time. And we're trying to figure out how long. So you distance just divide divide by rate. And then the 100 divided. Yeah, okay. We'll go for that. 40 seconds. Yeah. How much time does the passenger save by taking the moving sidewalk instead of just walking alongside it? Well, that depends the on how fast they walk walking. alongside it. Oh, well, they walk at the same rate. They walk at one meter per second. Oh. Um, so it would take, take like, 100 seconds. All of a sudden it breaks. And they're going to walk down the, move, the non-moving seconds. sidewalk anyway. They save 60 seconds? Yeah, yeah they do save 60 seconds. It would have taken them 100 whole seconds. 60 seconds. They couldn't miss a plane like that. Totally. Whoa. Or, you know, Sorry, not know. gotten married or something like that. It should have just been on Because he was like, if you don't, if you don't get on that plane, then you can, you can say goodbye to that diamond ring I bought you. You know, and she, she changes her mind. So she, she runs, but, you know, she needs a moving sidewalk to get there in time. And she gets there with two seconds to spare. If she had just run on those sides, she wouldn't have made it. Then it would have all been better. That's right. She should have gotten on the car that was going five meters per second. That's right. Dude, <laughs> that guy is flying. That is dangerous. You always see in the movies people running in, in uh, airports, but I always feel, I always think that would be really like, is, is like some official security guy going to like tackle me or something? Yeah, I've actually seen people running. They'll be like yeah. at a gift shop and then they'll just take off to the end gate. Or something. And anybody like, slow down or anything yeah, like that? Uh, huh. Maybe it's yeah, okay to run. Gotta in. Get there. I just always felt like it's not security. okay to run in a, in an airport. I don't know. It's how I feel it like, feels. I feel like they like, miss their flight. I feel yeah. like it would feel weird, but at the same time, like, if you need to get somewhere, you're not going to think about what other people think of you. You're going to run. Um, I sent you uh, the flashcard thing on Google Slides to practice your Chapter 3 vocabulary. You should start working on that. That's not super hard to get down. It just needs a little bit of time. Uh, vocabulary in the test is going to be on Friday. Between now and then, we're going to be so, yeah, this Friday, this doing some Monday. review. 
Yeah, test in this class on Friday, test in Bible on Monday is true. Yes. Yard. Things happen that way sometimes. And there's a lab report due on Monday. Yeah, there's a lab and report due. But not for you. Not yeah, until Dutch you and you do your thing and then you have a week. <laughs> so tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna do the standardized test prep together. So come um, to go with your gut. You say, I think it's C. Yes. Alright, If in doubt, pick C. Yeah. That's how it works. We'll we'll uh, go back over the vocabulary, but like Jeopardy, it's embarrassing if you haven't like, practiced at all. I don't know any of these. And we'll begin the chapter review. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. I got seven selected problems to try to get you ready for Friday's test. I've already made it. Actually, I've already made chapter four's test. So I'm already thinking force is mass times acceleration and action reaction pairs and stuff. So that's that's the deal. Um, yeah, so your job tonight is to at least, bare minimum, practice your vocabulary, check your email box.